Praise the Lord. Welcome to this series titled Miracles from the Bible. I am Dr. John Sincerian. I will be reading verses 1 to 6 from Exodus chapter 17. Verse 1 onwards, Then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of Sin, according to the commandment of the Lord, and encamped in Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water. And the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord saying, What shall I do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel and also take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Horeb and you shall strike the rock and water will come out of it that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. Praise the Lord. God does a wonderful miracle here for the Israelites. But we see here that they were not in a right relationship with God and with Moses. They were murmuring because there was no water to drink. In the journeys that the Israelites took from Egypt to the land of Canaan, we see that many times they did not have food to eat and water to drink and God had to provide that miraculously in their lives. But many of them murmured against the Lord and against Moses and that's why they had to suffer also in their wilderness journey. Here we see that they set out on their journey from the wilderness of Sin and they camped in Rephidim according to the commandment of the Lord but there was no water to drink in that place. Therefore the people they started arguing with Moses and telling him give us water that we may drink and Moses he was helpless in that situation and he spoke to them and said why do you contend with me and the people they started complaining again and told Moses why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst. But Moses, he did not have any other option but crying out to the Lord and that is what he did. What shall I do with these people? They are ready to stone me, is what Moses prayed to the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses and told him, Go on before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Horeb. And you shall strike the rock and water will come out of it that the people may drink. And that is exactly what Moses did. God does a great miracle here for the Israelites in their wilderness journey. And in the books that come later on, in the book of Deuteronomy, in the book of Nehemiah, in the book of Psalms, we read about the writers writing regarding this great miracle that God brought forth water out of the rocks to quench the thirst of his people. The only problem that we read about here in this passage is verse 9 where he says, So he called the name of the place Masa and Meribah because of the contention of the children of Israel, because they tempted the Lord saying, Is the Lord among us or not? They had a need, but they started murmuring instead of praying to the Lord and crying out to him. And that is what happens sometimes, we murmur regarding many things that are happening in our lives rather than praying and crying out to the Lord. But we must always know that God is compassionate and He loves us, He loves our children and all that He has given us, even our livestock. And like the Israelites who started murmuring and arguing against Moses, we must not do such things, but we must pray to the Lord, we must cry out to the Lord and He will answer us at the right time. God Almighty loves us when we go to Him with a broken and contrite heart. Instead of murmuring and complaining against the leaders who are there above us. You know, sometimes they may be helpless. They may be in a situation where they cannot help us. Only God can help us. And when we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ and cry out to the Father in heaven, 
God will answer our prayers and we will see great miracles in our life too. Here the people murmured, yet God because of his compassion, he did a great miracle for them. When Moses struck the rock, you see water coming out of it and all the people of Israel could have their thirst quenched. So God is loving, God is kind, God is compassionate. Trust in him, trust in Jesus Christ, your Savior. Trust in the Holy Spirit of God. And I believe that he will bless you this day and in the coming days and all the days of your life. May God bless you with these thoughts this day. Praise the Lord. Okay.